Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have more insane content to talk about and possibly another guaranteed TOTS SBC icon player pick pack coming. I want to talk about it all because EA messed us up yesterday with the content that they released. They went out of order from what they normally do with the guaranteed Liganos and the guaranteed Bundesliga Team of the Season SBCs released yesterday on Tuesday. I want to talk about what that's going to do to the market, what that could mean as we move up, move on throughout the rest of this week, and how the market reacted to that SBC, because a lot of prices went down, then they went up, but now some of them are kind of back down. Also talk about the Jude Bellingham SBC and the other content that we received, because again, it was another day of insane content, but what does that mean for the rest of this week? And that's what we're going to try to tackle in this video now of course we have we had another 85 plus player pick yesterday as well too this content again is just unbelievable from ea sports i mean i don't even know when or how it's going to stop but when it does it's going to seem like we're getting nothing in the game because we have like peak levels of content right now now yesterday on tuesday we had a showdown between zagadu and damari gray leverkusen and dortmund uh this SBC expires in two days on Friday. The Zagadu card looks pretty decent. Another French center back. Again, so many defenders being released. A part of this promo for the Bundesliga. Defender heavy SBCs and objectives even for sure with the Rusillian flashback being there as well. Demar Gray is pretty interesting. Four star, four star. English links in that league with a lot of pace. So depending on who wins that game, plus two for the winner or plus one for a draw. Those are decent SBCs, but the really hyped card was this Jude Bellingham. Really, really solid looking card. Not insane, but like really solid, right? The free kick accuracy, the defensive awareness kind of lets him down a bit, but 99 stand tackle, 97 stamina, really good finishing, a good attacking stats, really good agility balance. I'm pretty sure he has the lean body type as well technical dribbler trait so i'm really curious to see how this guy plays in the game i'm kind of wanting to get him low key because i've got rashford i've got royce and that could be a nice link between both of those cards even though one one of them would have to be off chemistry for whatever wherever i played them but kind of curious about this bellingham card very cool one right a u23 sbc player so that was a w then we had another 85 plus bonus like a player pick and the guaranteed tots packs which of course you're seeing all this content come out, and of course, the fodder market has gone absolutely bananas once again. You've got 86 rated, 356 points on the index, up to 390. Those have dropped off. Uh, but again, this game, they're just draining so many coins off of this uh, the, the game itself. It's just crazy. But since we have gotten this guaranteed Bundesliga Tots SBC, this SBC right here, coming in at 190K, what is going to happen today on Wednesday and tomorrow on Thursday with this game? Now, I'm going to throw a couple ideas out there, and this is why I titled the video this way. I don't know if they're really stepping up the content on another level. There's been a couple people that were mentioning this, and, you know, we this is not something new. They could release a second Bundesliga Tots Guaranteed SBC if that was the plan all along this week. Now, also, there is some theories going around that instead of you know, it should have just been the Liga Nost Tots guaranteed today, and they actually messed up releasing the Bundesliga at the same time. That is a very probable uh, thing that could have happened as well. So it could have just been a mix up from EA today, releasing both those SBCs at once. But what we could potentially be seeing is this Bundesliga Tots guaranteed pack released twice. If they're really, again, taking that content step to the next level, we could see that pack again, maybe on Thursday, because that is something that we saw not too long ago. In FIFA 18, they released the main league guaranteed TOTS SBC twice. They would do it, I forget what days they would do it on, but they would release it twice for every single team that came out into packs. There'd be two of them. So like one earlier on and one later on. So maybe they're going back to that. Maybe this week we're going to see two Bundesliga guaranteed TOTS SBCs. And I think the top argument for that is EA knows that these cards on the market are very rare. I mean, look at Lewandowski, only, you know, like eight cards in the market when we just searched them up. And if you look at the supply and a lot of these cards, they're just very, very rare. Maybe EA wants to supply them a bit into people's clubs a bit more and take some more coins off this game before they release a Ronaldo and a probably juiced up Serie A squad in packs this coming Friday to try to get you to spend more FIBA points and fill your coins back in. But I think that's kind of like the top guess maybe of why they released it early. Either it was a mess up or we're potentially going to be getting another one later this week. That would be crazy if we had another bonus to get guaranteed tots coming out on Thursday. That'd be insane. So 
That is kind of an idea. But what's going to happen the rest of this week? Now that we've kind of been thrown out of the balance, usually today on Wednesday is that day where we look for some of these TOTS cards to be sort of at their lowest with some panic selling on days like today uh, with that guarantee TOTS coming out. Now, since we're basically past that point, not expecting maybe to have it again, we'll see. A lot of people went out and bought these TOTS cards from the Bundesliga today. Now, specifically, there were some market movements that you could have made coins on right away when the SBC dropped. The Alfonso Davies team of the season card, he was right around 450, 445,000 coins. There was a bit of panic right away when that SBC dropped. He went from 470 to 450. Then, of course, with the Zagadu SBC that came out, the Bellingham that came out, and just everybody having the Bundesliga back lines, and probably a lot of people wanting to buy these Davies cards for their team this weekend. What we see is, again, consistent with what we saw the past couple of weeks on the Guaranteed Tots release day is that people went out and bought that car. So that Davies went from 450,000 coins up to almost 500K in a very short time span yesterday. And now he's back down to 470, right? So there was an initial buyback, whether that's investing or whether that was people buying it for their teams, we're really not sure. But there were also some special cards that went up on the rest of the market. I'll talk about that. The same thing happened with Holland, though. This guy was down to 670,000 coins when the guaranteed SBC released. He rebounded back up to six to 740K. So it went from 670 to 740. He's now back down at 700. So it's very interesting to see some of these price movements. Uh, some cards went down and really haven't rebounded back up too much. Uh, Lacroix, which, by the way, I found out I was saying this guy's name wrong. Here in the U.S., there's a popular drink. It's like a seltzer water drink called La Croix. And that is how we pronounce this guy's name. But of course, since he is French, I'm doing the fellow Frenchman that watched these videos. And of course, this man himself, a disservice by pronouncing it that way. So I believe it is now supposed to be um, pronounced La Croix, basically. La Croix. So I'm trying to get that pronunciation down. You know the drill. But this guy was like 370,000 coins today. He rebounded back above 400K, which right now he's kind of chilling around that 400,000 coin range. So it seems like some people today, they didn't pack the guaranteed tots that they wanted to. They don't have a lot of coins. They can't do the rest of the SBCs or they don't want to participate in the rest of the content. So they just went out and maybe bought some of those cards for their team in the season side today. That is kind of looking like what happened on the game today now of course some of your other bonus league tots like the sancho like goretzka Lewandowski, they're still very very inflated very very expensive and rare right these guys are so rare and it's crazy so maybe e8 like there's two sanchos on the market on the entire ps4 game right now that's crazy it is crazy how this stuff is that's really what makes me think that people didn't pack the one that they wanted and they went out and bought those cards today because Goretzka, Lewandowski, Sancho, all the meta and OP ones went up today after that SBC was released. So that's kind of my thinking now that I think about it a little bit more. That's what kind of happened. So if that SBC does come again, you probably will see a little bit of maybe a little bit of drop off and a little bit of selling because people who bought the card are going to go do the SBC again and they might not many have many coins to go and do it. The probability, let me give you a percentage chance of what I think there maybe might be this SBC coming out again. I feel like it's like a 50-50 shot. Um, now, today it was actually really interesting. This Kingsley Coleman card was packed so much. Uh, this guy was like 350, 360,000 coins. He went down to 300K. He's now getting rare. He's almost back to 350. But, I mean, we opened a bunch of these packs today on stream, and, and this guy was in like so many of them. It was crazy. I packed Coleman from the 85 plus, so he was popping a lot today, which is very, very interesting to see. Um... But those are kind of the market movements with those team of the season cards today. Now, the rest of the market, when the SBC came out, there was some panic selling, right? You see this Vieira, who's right now back up to like 870,000 coins. He was 810K. This Eto dropped under 800,000 coins. He is back to 840 as it shows right now. So nice bounce back there. This Pushkas was under 700 for just a slight time span. He is back to 750. So you see, you saw a lot of cards get really, really low. And now they've kind of bounced back. There was a little bit of panic selling when that came out, which is what usually happens. Now that, again, makes us curious about today and through the rest of this week. What is EA going to do content-wise since their schedule and since their normal, I guess, routine has kind of been mixed up? Now, I do think that today on Wednesday, a lot of people are hoping for an icon player pick. Now, we've had the 91 plus icon SBC that is out, the Prime. Uh, but I believe that doesn't expire on for, until Friday. So I don't know if they're going to release another Icon SBC. They could. Today on, on Wednesday, seriously, might just be the new team of the week. Maybe a new Bundesliga Tots challenge. 
and another player SBC or, or of sorts or something like that. We might not have insane content today. If it was truly a mess up from EA Sports, then they were supposed to release the guaranteed Bundesliga today and Wednesday and not yesterday. Then I think today might seem a little lackluster content wise. Um, and if that is the case, then you might see some panic selling heading into 6 p.m. of people expecting something insane and then actually not seeing that insane content and seeing those cards kind of rise back up into the later in the day. Uh, I mean, I really don't feel like there's a ton of hype right now for the upgrade packs because they're really not giving out. Like I only have one day, 15 hours to complete Zambrata and I'm not even hyped to do upgrade packs because I packed a couple blues today, but not that many, right? I mean, I've gotten some just very low tier ones, nothing super duper hyped on my account and these do not seem to be paying out that much. Even the 81 plus player picks are, they're a little better now but still not very good, right? It does not seem to be like you're getting a lot of fodder. It's not a good investment to be doing the upgrade packs and, and trying to pack blues as it seems at the moment. So that's kind of interesting for today for sure. Um, now I wanna talk about rewards a little bit too without going super, super duper long in this video. Um, I'm really, really curious to see if people did a lot of rewards investing today. Now I saw on the, some of these cards that dropped off, I bought some in Kunku's today, right around the 110, 115K range. I got one for like 109, I think that was my best price. I got a Subis Live for 144, he's been in the 160s. Um, I got two Klossman in the low 100s and I bought some Ginters, or some Gunters actually, Gunter, not Ginter. Uh, I bought some of these around the 36 to 30, 5k range because i think with alfonso davies getting bought up so much today that for me was really a sign that a lot of people wanted that card and want that left back position because besides russillian there hasn't been an sbc yet uh for a left back position change card now i believe gunter is right around like 40k or maybe just a hair under at the moment he's 38,000 coins so he's still kind of chilling 36 to 40k but i feel like people are on lower budgets too and as we look towards rewards this week I feel like a lot of the lower budget cards could be pretty good movers. Now, some of the stuff has already started to go up on the market. Um, your Bundesliga specials, because it looked like today people went and invested in some of that stuff because I think people were told when we get the guarantee, there's going to be some panic selling and people kind of go and buy teams. So I think it might have been a mixture of people going and buying some cards for their teams after the guaranteed SBC, which caused some prices to go up today, and also people investing for the future because Tamori is up 20,000 coins. He was like 220K. Bernardeschi is up like 4,000 coins. Chan is up a little bit. You're seeing some of these Serie A specials that people would be investing for for next week and Bundesliga specials that people would be buying because they think they're going to go up after rewards kind of getting botting up, kind of getting bought up is what I'm supposed to say there. Sané is up like 30,000 coins himself. Perisic is up. And as we look through some of these other cards, some of your even team of the season community cards that are Bundesliga. Um, and, you know, Mukiele was just 280. That is up from where he was earlier today. Uh, Alaba is still chilling. He's up a bit. The Nkunku was back to 120 highs just a little bit ago. He's kind of back down to 117. So I'm going to be interested again. I feel like this market is again pretty broke. So that's why I I went in on some of the cheaper cards today from the Bundesliga. If there is going to be a rise there, I think it might be in that situation, in that kind of lower tier range as people have less coins. Some of the OP cards that are cheaper could be really good. Now I got a Subis Light at 144. He's up to 158. Kulusevsky was 100K. He is up. This Geo Reyna card was like 315K. He is up to 345. So you're seeing some of this Bundesliga stuff and the Serie A cards start to move up. And I think that is a little bit of investing going on there, but also maybe some team buying as well. So we'll really see what happens with the market after rewards. I think it's going to be kind of like last week where you saw some La Liga cards go up just because of the links and the hype. Um, I think you'll see that again this week as people are running a lot of Bundesliga defenses and maybe now with some midfielder cards getting put in there. Um, unless we have like a big time attacker SBC, um, I feel like Bundesliga midfielders and attackers could do pretty well this week at rewards and maybe even some other like your goalkeepers like Neuer might do decent um, and uh, some of your other defenders as well like your Klosterman because people finishing out the links if they did Mbabu or if they did Tapsoba they might need a couple more links to finish out their back line I think some of that stuff could do pretty well too so um, you know just kind of looking across Bundesliga strikers is a pretty rare position Juan He Chan is up as a full birthday card and I kind of got my eyes on this Luka Jovic because um this Luka Jovic card is, is solid, right? He's a really solid what if plus uh, upgraded card. He's up a little bit. I think he's like 60, yeah, in, in the mid 60s that he was in the 50K range. But this is a really cheap striker card that is Bundesliga 
Uh, linking, of course, 63K is his cheapest one. I'm searching at 65 right now. So he's definitely up a little bit. If you can find some open bids on some of these strikers, uh, Thorgan Hazard Freeze, Jovic, um, this one right here, the Juan He Chan, some of those guys are up, but I think that might be a part of this game since we haven't had any SBCs or objective cards that are strikers. Um, could be a place where the market goes up a little bit at rewards. And I like this cheaper budget stuff too, because again, a lot of people are broke and they don't have coins after all the SBCs in the past two weeks. So that's one thing that I'm interested about there. And to cram some more talk and information about this video, let's talk about, again, Team of the Season cards from the Bundesliga because I honestly don't know if these cards are going to go up that... I mean, Sancho is almost extinct, right? 2.95. This dude's literally 50K from being extinct. There's only three cards on the market. Goretzka is really, really rare. And if you're using a left back this week with your Bundesliga Tots cards, it's going to be this guy. So... I think some of these Bundesliga Tots cards are going to get supplied with elite packs, and that's going to be some of the biggest supply that they will have all week in packs because these guys are so, so rare. But if you think about it, if you're getting top 200, there's 200 people in the world, and basically all of them are going to be packing Neuer, Lacroix, uh, Holland's going to be in a lot of those Tots packs, Muller's going to be in almost all of those Davies because he's 91 rated. It's going to be in like all those packs. So I think this week on Thursday at Rewards is going to be a very, very interesting time for these cards because they are going to have more supply than they've ever seen. But there's also going to be a lot of people that want to go out and buy them too. So I'm curious to see if they do have a quick drop, but then maybe even rebound. I think these guys will do the, the best in the short term because if there are coins on this market, enough demand to pull these guys up for the links to other TOTS cards and SBCs that people have done this week, these cards are just sh so rare that I think they kind of have to go up. So that's kind of what I'm thinking with these cards. So if you haven't bought any of them yet, watch for Panic Selling if there's any insane content today on Wednesday. Um, and then maybe even as we head into the rewards time frame, if there's a sell-off there, I would keep watching these cards. I really would because remember what happened on Sunday when Squad Battle Rewards came out? These guys got supplied and they, they all took some hits. They somehow rebounded back from that. Like Coman was 300K on Sunday night. He's back to 350, right? Even through the guaranteed tots and stuff like that. These cards are just in demand and they're rare. So I do think these guys will rise on Thursday, but I think they might get cheap for that first hour or so of rewards for all the people that open elite packs and, and list them up. And of course, people that are opening their tradable weekend league rewards too. These guys might get cheap for a hot second. And then I think they will go up because again, that rarity is just the biggest part. That's why you see these guys fluctuate so much in price, like Holland moving like 70,000 coins today. Lewandowski at one point was like 2.1 mil when the guaranteed um, SBC was out. Uh, I mean, he was like 2 million coins flat at one point earlier this week too. And right now he's back to 2.4. So again, these cards move around a ton just because they're flat rare. And I think that's going to be a big benefit to people who want to try to trade with them around the rewards time frame. So just watch that supply when it comes in at rewards, but it's going to be a very interesting today, day today on Wednesday, uh, because whatever content does come out, if it is insane, you'll probably see more panic selling and more opportunities to buy in on some cards. If it's not that insane, you'll probably see stuff kind of rise up a little bit or maintain its price into rewards. And the focus is going to be rewards, packs, these TOTS cards, and maybe whatever player SBC does come out, because I would still expect one of those player SBCs. Now, this was a card that I bought on Sunday night when stuff was really low, and when the 91 plus mid icon came out, or the 91 plus prime came out, this card dropped off. So I actually made out with a 5K loss after tax here, which I'm actually kind of happy about, because 2.879, where I sold that, um, he was selling in the 2.7 lows multiple times this week. So I took my money there, and I averted a big loss, and I didn't panic sell, right? I didn't panic sell. I could have sold that when I saw the SBC, but I didn't. So I've got more coins to play with along with my investments already on the transfer list. And I'm going to do some more upgrade packs just because I want to give myself a shot at packing Sancho, Goretzka, Holland, Lewandowski, Davies for sure would be a huge card that I would love to pack. So we'll talk more about the market a little bit in tomorrow's video too. But again, a lot of information crammed in there today. I'm really curious to see what EA does today on Wednesday and tomorrow on Thursday now that we have had the guarantees for both of the teams out, Liga Nos and the Bundesliga. So I'm really curious to see how EA goes from here with all of that content. But if you guys enjoyed this video today and it helped you out, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate for the Count and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.